What quietly went away without anyone noticing? Facebook poke wars. Water beds. Sierra Mist. I saw the replacement brand in stores last week, but until I read the press release the other day I had no idea Pepsi had discontinued Sierra Mist at all. Picture-in-picture -picture TVs. Acid rain. It was a huge environmental issue in the late 70s through the early 90s. Rain was acidic and damaged fertile areas among other things. In the US there was much research done and eventually industrial regulations were put into place. Companies were allowed to decide what approach they chose to take as long as the results showed the appropriate amount of reduction in sulfur dioxide emissions. Unfortunately, positive news doesn't sell, so news outlets did not do justice to reporting this success. As we went into the 2000s hardly anyone remembered what was done. Those red coupon dispensers that used to be inside grocery stores. Service clubs. E.g. the Rotary, the Lions, the Shriners. Oh, they are still around. But a common complaint among them is they've got no members under 70 and no new members are lining up to get in. Edit the one question seems to be, what the hell are these, anyways? They are social clubs with the primary objective to be doing projects to better the community. They might raise money to build a new playground, a new hospital, four scholarships, stuff like that. They raise money for stuff. Stumble upon. I remember all my classmates and my mom used to use it years ago. HQ Trivia. McDonald's all-day breakfast menu. I think people have noticed now but at the time, nobody noticed it was happening 24-hour stores. I live in a major city and we don't have a single 24-hour grocery store ever since the pandemic. Actual toys in cereal boxes and Cracker Jack boxes. 3D TVs. Anyone remember spinning rims on cars? Politicians feeling ashamed when they are caught lying. Landlines in residences. The jacks are still in almost any house but I rarely see anything plugged in anymore. The only people I can think of with them are all over 60. The American chestnut tree. We sing chestnuts roasting over an open fire every year and yet never question why we have no chestnuts. All the chestnut trees are dead is why, you see. Movie trailers with that deep voice guy doing the voiceovers. Flash mobs. The Sears wish book. The word cyberspace. That class for keyboard typing and stuff. Sobe. Gotti and LMFAO. The net neutrality thingy. Ruffle dropped off of the face of the planet and now we just go straight from LOL to LMAO. Taylor Lautner. Shelley Miscavige. Planking. Taco Bell used to have a chihuahua as their mascot. Little dude just disappeared one day and anyone born after 2000 probably doesn't even know what I am talking about. Traveler's checks. Google. Ronald McDonald. Too many people are petrified of clowns. Murder hornets. Jack Nicholson. My cousin from any family party he ever came to. He was the master of the quiet exit. He would show up, make sure he said hello to everyone, maybe carry a beer around and then it was like where's Rich, every dang time. He passed away quietly last summer, RIP Rich. I want to know WTF happened to my Salsa Verde Doritos. 3D Doritos. Telephone books. Ring tones. Jay-Z said no more and they were done. Raspberry brisk apparently, but I noticed. I noticed PepsiCo. I'm not bitter about it. Edit you have all given me hope I will taste this heavenly juice once again. Anti-marijuana commercials. One income supporting a family. 
public spaces where you have a reasonable expectation that you are not being filmed. Free samples. I used to see free sample stands every time I went to a store, now they are gone. I now realize from all the comments that Costco apparently still has them. I used to be so social. Until I realized I could just disappear without anyone noticing. So I experimented. Nobody ever noticed. The bugs on the front of grills after road trips. Skype. Stores that are open 24-7. The old social media format. Today is everything just like TikTok. iPod and other MP3 players. Anyone remember playing with Pogs? When you turn off the TV, how the image would shrink to a dot before slowly fading away. Buying a new game and having a thick chunky manual filled with game lore which you would read before playing and so heighten the anticipation of the game itself. Blackberry phones. Ownership. We used to pay money and then the thing actually belonged to us. Now everything is rented or leased. Everything is sold as a service. Music as a service. Movies as a service. Software as a service. Even printer ink as a service. We spend and spend and in the end we hold nothing in our hands. Edit you can also subscribe to clothes. Wear new clothes every month but never own them. You can also subscribe to cars. Clothes as a service, cars as a service. The uproar around devices always listening. Xbox ONE Connect was an uproar and now you pretty much can't buy a device that isn't always listening. Hoverboards. Online privacy. Saturday morning cartoons. HTC One smartphones. Travis Scott concert death controversy. Beanie Babies. Pickle barrels in the supermarket. TV tube testers in stores. Quality kids meal toys. OGs will remember the awesome MCDs or Burger King toys we'd get, like mini video games, Legos, and Transformers. We even would get CDS sometimes an ancient and lost technology to some of you younger kids. Now my son gets cardboard or those bobble head, Funko Pop one abyss. Blackberry remember Blackberry? Ah, the early noughties. Those black plastic bases on 2 liter soda bottles. That was always a grade school Easter basket craft when I was growing up and then poof dash symbol. Ashtrays and cigarette lighters in cars. Family encyclopedia sets. Rolodexes. Panty hose. Pagas and answering machines. Checkbooks and checkbook registers. The shitshow occurring in Hong Kong, right before Covid hit. Mike Myers. Dude was a huge star, and now he's barely in anything. Knowing Kilroy had been here. Payphone booths. Kmart and Sears. Amazon Prime two-day shipping. Sure it says two-day when you order it Monday and then it says it'll be there Friday. Two means two. TCBY. In the 80s there was a big push to get rid of styrofoam packaging especially at fast food places. And it worked for like 30-ish years but now it's back. So business ethics. LOL at least the guilt around styrofoam. The damn TV remote, stand up you're probably sitting on it. Ice bucket challenges. Answering machines. Tutti fruities. Swear no one else realized they disappeared and it's heartbreaking tbh. Daniel Tosh. Alicia Silverstone. She was in everything in the late 90s, then she was gone. Yo-yos, they were all the rage back in my school as a kid and they just disappeared overnight, nobody even noticed it was just a fad that died. Google Glasses. Disposable Cameras.